Well, Tropical Storm Henri is happening nearly 30 years to the day of Hurricane Bob. We haven't seen a storm like this in southern New England since. 12 News reporter Sheena Lusciuto has been in Newport all night. She joins us now live with how the city by the sea is ready for the storm. Sheena? Well, here in Newport, Easton's Beach is already closed until at least Tuesday. Of course, it's a popular tourist destination. And the mayor here says her goal is to make sure both residents and visitors are prepared for this. The gates at Easton Beach are now locked and the water is off limits as Rhode Island prepares for Henri's wrath. Well, we tried to uh, get as much fun as we could today, but I know we got to pack up our emergency supplies for the next couple of days. Known as the city by the sea, we have been prepared for disasters for a while. Newport knows just how powerful Mother Nature can be. It was this week in 1991, Hurricane Bob made landfall. Easton's Beach was the beach that was taken out with uh, Hurricane Bob. We had bathhouses and a number of buildings on the beach. They were completely taken out. Mayor Jean Marie Napolitano says Bob taught the city how to prepare. And with Henri on his way, the mayor says all hands are on deck. We have been really, like I said, marshalling all our resources and making sure the word is out with the community and with the visitors. Surfers and beachgoers getting one last trip in Friday, taking in the calm before the storm, admiring the waves. They're growing day by day, uh, about three to five feet. The mayor says stock up if you can, get food, water, and batteries. And looking back at Bob, she says residents and visitors shouldn't take this weather lightly. The wind was incredible. It took down trees. It piled all the boats in the harbor up against the wall. Um, it was absolutely amazing, the force of the winds. So I think people need to be aware. And just in general, the U.S. Coast Guard says people should be staying away from the water right now. And they also say families should be making a plan just in case they have to evacuate. Make that plan right now. Reporting live in Newport tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Police on Block Island are strongly urging anyone without a place to stay to leave before the storm rolls in. New Shoreham police say they do not have an emergency shelter or the resources to accommodate visitors who could get trapped on the island. At last check, high speed and traditional ferries starting at 645 tomorrow night out of Point Judith have been canceled. And the Newport High Speed Ferry has been canceled for tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. In Massachusetts, state pools, campgrounds, and other recreational areas are closing up early. Governor Charlie Baker is activating National Guard troops and urging Cape Cod vacationers to get home by tomorrow before the storm hits. We don't want people to be stuck in the traffic on the Cape Cod bridges when the storm is in full force on Sunday. I know that August weekends in Massachusetts are usually a great time to be outside and enjoy what's left of the rest of summer, but it looks like this storm is going to have a big impact on the Commonwealth, and we really would urge everybody to do everything they can to stay home on Sunday. Lots of people are getting their boats out of the water. The harbor master at Falmouth Harbor Marina is even allowing temporary storage on the grass. The Massachusetts Steamship Authority says it's likely ferries will be canceled to and from Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket on Sunday and Monday. Anyone looking to get on or off the islands is urged to leave by tomorrow. And the company Island Queen has already canceled all sailings for Sunday and Monday. Staying in southeastern Massachusetts, coastal communities are preparing for what may come in the next couple of days. Kim Kalunian joins us now live from New Bedford with what she's seeing tonight. Kim? Well, Mike, the irony here is that it was an absolutely beautiful night here in southeastern Massachusetts. Earlier this evening, I was in Westport where folks were out enjoying a gorgeous sunset. And here in New Bedford, people were taking in the nightlife on this Friday night. But all of the folks I spoke with in these coastal communities are also preparing well in advance for the severe weather that we're expected to see on Sunday. When Buzzards Bay is just steps from your front door, you're no stranger to preparing for coastal storms. Um, we had to pack everything up and uh, get it out of the way. This is East Beach Road in Westport. You can see on this map just how exposed it is. Its position between the bay and the Westport River makes storm surge a real threat to these trailers and mobile homes. Lisa Blanchett has weathered smaller storms here before. So we had to actually pull in the sides of our trailer because the wind was just 
pulling it up. So it's extremely violent and scary. She and her neighbors are packing up and moving their trailers out for Henri. We're all planning to move off tomorrow. Several of the trailers are being pulled off tonight. We're moving off tomorrow. Jeff Claymeyer already moved his trailer off his family's plot, fully expecting this slice of coastal property to be feet underwater. I'm usually with the big storms like that, you'll get large rollers that'll push up, and uh, especially with the storm being south, the wind will be pushing on top of the astronomical high tides. And I would not be surprised if I'm waist deep, if not more, in water. For the Litzner family, it was one last romp in the sand before they haul away their small cottage. Michaela says the land has been in her family for years, and a home once stood there many decades ago. It's not the only thing that's changed. And I do think that over time we're seeing more storm activity here. It's, it's actually palpable. Also a change in the shoreline. You know, as a kid, there was more sand, and there's less and less. And some of the folks I spoke with in that neighborhood say they actually feel lucky because unlike traditional oceanfront living, they can simply pack up their entire house and move it out of harm's way. Now, any resident of Massachusetts looking to obtain disaster information during the storm can simply call 211. Live in New Bedford tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.